welcome to reaction to the third episode of Crossange, last episode, lesbian rape. Well, not full rape. Well, I guess technically it's rape. I guess rape doesn't have to be going all the way. So technically, a false case is rape. So yeah, lesbian rape. Yuli rape, I guess, is more fitting uh, for what it is. So yeah, that was nice. Uh, that was... That was what it was. I don't really know what to say. I mean, that was hot, but what can I say? I like that kind of shit. Uh, never, never enough Yuri. Um, so she started getting a bit used to the life. She's good at everything for reason, but still she wanted to go home. So when she has the chance, she's trying to go away. But uh, that gets uh, one of the girls killed. And yeah, that's it. Now they have to fight Dragon. Let's watch episode 3 of Crescent. Let's get into this in 3, 2, 1. The most obvious death ever. So predictable. <laughs> Okay, a bit more 3D than episode 1 and 2. In episode 1 and 2, I think the dragon were 2D. Hopefully, they don't fully switch to. to. Uh, to 3D. You know, I forgot to check the voice for this show. I'll do it after the episode. I have a couple characters I want to check. I see there's a manga too. Is it a manga adaptation? Yeah, it came out at the same time as the show. And it's only two, three volume. Okay. Vilkis Awakens Well, I guess we are doing full treaty for the dragon then The max 3D is pretty great Surprisingly great. I mean, the sunrise, but still. The mech kind of looked like a the one from uh, Gundam, Iron Blooded Orphan. Yeah, the dragon don't look good. 
the mech looked pretty good, but the dragon... A shame. Because I was really praising the production value for episode 1 and 2, but... Yeah, unfortunately... Yeah. And she's dead. No surprise. It's like they have a minimum amount of uh, ass shot they need per episode. She's getting someone else killed. Did she? That's a shame. I liked her. She had a lesbian RM. That's a real fucking shame. She was probably my favorite character so far. She's a dumb princess, what are you gonna do? Damn, she's still dumb. Absolutely deserved. I mean... Pretty interesting how... She's become so unlikable. <laughs> Keep using this shot, I don't mind. I assume that she might eventually become the leader. That's how they keep her from using it, but it's still weird that she wouldn't want to use it sometime. I'm pretty bummed out that she died uh, Aaron King Aaron King girl Aaron Queen It's a long cigarette.
Okay. Which is interesting. Your dog. She's a dumb bitch. Music is fucking great. And here we go again. to give her hers that we saw before. I mean, I assume it was hers.
Well, I imagine something's going to awaken inside her. Sorry for all the noise, if you can hear it. Already going to shit. Oh, she's a data zap. Okay. Can't adapt to situation. Once again, what is a regular gun going to do? Oh, reflex. Is the ring special in some way? Also, when did she get back the ring? I did expect her to have an awakening this episode, but I didn't mean a power awakening. I was more expecting like a mindset awakening, but okay. And the music. Why is the music so good in this show? Yeah, it's pretty weird to look at the contrast of how good the 3D for the mech is compared to the dragon. I mean, it's sunrise, so it's not surprising. But still. Alright, that's pretty cool. So she has ice power. No, 
Oh, okay. She likes it. Okay. Okay, she's made peace, finally. Oh, yeah. That was pretty easy, but all right. She looks better shorter, in my opinion. Isn't this pulling days old by now? <laughs> well, I guess if it's, yeah, wraps like that, it should be fine. If it's not too hot. It's better fresh. All right. Well, I'm glad this isn't taking more than three episodes for her to have this turnaround of finally accepting a situation and being okay with it. Yeah, like I said, very surprised that she died. Uh, what's her name? The lesbian queen. But anyway, I want to check. So, main character is voiced by Mizuki Nanda. She sounds familiar. Let's see. She's Inata in Naruto. Okay. That's a big one. She's Rifu in uh, Claymore. She was Misaki in Darker Than Black. Uh, oh, Mio in Dororo. Okay. Uh, Russ in Full Metal Alchemist. Okay, she's a big deal. That's enough. No need to look for more. Uh, all right, not watching the preview. Uh, Jill, the black-haired woman with the mechanical arm, is voiced by Onda Takako. Let's see. She was Jinta in Bleach. Uh, April in uh, Dark and Black. Okay. Uh, Martel in uh, Full Metal Chemist. A lot of side character in uh, GTO. Okay. Uh, she seemed to do a lot of side character. She's a uh, One Ona. Uh, from uh, Else Girl, if you don't remember, one of the the people around uh, Emma. Uh, she's Toko Awazaki from Kara no Kyokai. Alright, and I wanted to check the redhead girl. Uh, of fucking name is really hard to read. Skliev Got? S no. S S How the fuck do you pronounce that? It's really hard to read. Anyway, uh, Hildegard is her first name. Uh, it's voiced by Tamura Yukari. She sounds familiar. That name sounds familiar. Um, let's see. Uh, Watanabe G3 Mayu from uh, AK AKB 0048. That's a good one. Uh, Sunuara Me from Clanad. Alright. Oh, she's the wife in uh, my. Uh, I can't understand what my husband is saying. That's that's a good one, too. Uh, 
she is Anenosaki in Gintama. Oh, okay. She's Rika in uh, Igorashi. I mean, it's very... Okay, how did I not recognize her? I mean, it's very well known how crazy she can make a, a voice sound for Rika compared to other characters, but fuck, yeah. I mean, I guess I couldn't recognize her because her voice is so different compared to Rika, but yeah. Okay, one of the biggest stage on... Okay. Anyway, yeah. Um, sad that Arim Queen died, uh, definitely. Hopefully, there'll still be some uh, Yuri shit going on. Glad uh, the, the main character has, has finally turned around. She uh, she got really unlikable. So hopefully now, you know, he'll turn around and be with her. Uh, yeah, the mech are amazing. Uh, the 3D for the mech is really amazing. Uh, the dragon and, I guess, monster isn't. It's not that terrible, but still, it's a bit sad that it's not on par. But once again, since it's Sunrise, of course they know how to do mech and not uh, monster. Um, I guess now that uh, Iron Queen died, the only character that I like, that I like is uh, the uh, black haired woman uh, with the mechanical arm. And I guess I like the character design for the red headed girl and uh, the blue hair, the blue hair girl, yeah. Anyway, once again, what I've said for episode 1 and 2, this is not terrible so far. This is pretty, pretty basic by all means, but as someone who has seen a ton of genuinely shitty show, like the type of shit that no one's ever heard about because, yeah, no one's watched it, um, I've seen way worse than this. I mean, I wouldn't even call this bad. I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, I, fuck. Bear with me. I'm gonna try to say it. It's a word that I really struggled with. Unironically. Okay. It came out pretty good. Yeah, unironically. Uh, I enjoy this unironically right now. Not like watching The Room or something, but still, it's only a little bit into the show, so yeah, it might turn into some more craziness. Um, but yeah, for now, entertaining. So, not much else to say. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.